All right, <laughs> this is recording. <laughs> I'm using a different camera. Um, the uh, so it's not a geo, obviously. Uh, what I did is a, a propane conversion on this geo. We've been doing so much propane stuff around here recently. I thought I'd get the lawnmower switched over. Um, your lawnmower, if it has a governor on it, which seems like every lawnmower does now, versus you know the old hand throttle lines. Um, they're really easy to convert over. You can do it for about I don't know, about a twenty dollar bill. I'll go over it really quick if you're interested. You can do it. The reason I did this is uh, it virtually stops the need for oil changes, and uh, the, uh, you don't have any fuel. And this is dual fuel, by the way. You can put unleaded fuel on it and run it. You just can't run the propane unless you pinch off the fuel line. You know, so if you put a little seat clamp on there, uh, you know, a little clamp to pinch it off. The, uh, and then just run the carb out of fuel, then you can switch over to propane. I'll show you in just a second here. The uh, neat thing about it is, is, you know, if your lawnmower, the fuel sits in the float bowl, or you have to put additive in the uh, fuel to let it sit over the winter or whatnot. And like this car, this thing, it took about 10 or 15 poles to even get it to try the fire off. You know, and it probably could use a spark plug and stuff. Looks a little ratty here, but I think it's only a three-year-old model. And it hasn't had many hours on it at all. But just the carb, you know, the fuel sitting in the carb, and, uh, you know, just getting a little, uh, you know, fuel just gets nasty. So, anyway, so what I did on this, yeah, oh, so there's no fuel in the carburetor at all right now. And if I just leave it on propane, which I have, because it's just convenient, and it costs half as much as unloaded fuel. The, uh, you can't have anything gum up because all we're using is the throttle plate and the carburetor. Um, so basically, uh, this is the vent on the top of the carburetor and it plugs into the crankcase and, uh, that's where it vented, so it's got California emissions, I think, or federal emissions, so it just was sucking a little vapor off the crankcase. I just plugged it in there because it's just super easy and convenient. You could drill a hole in the end of the air cleaner and just shove this hose through until it laid inside the carburetor as long as it doesn't get in the way you know, the throttle plate, which there's plenty of room. That's all it is, is just quarter-inch vinyl hose. And you can use eighth inch or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And then there's a regular fuel line for the car, but you know, there's no gas in it. In fact, I just washed it, it took this all apart, and washed it out with hot water and let it dry it all out and stuff. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's nice, and uh, no fumes or anything, you know, it's a, uh, you know, same reason they're in forklifts inside of buildings because the fuel comes out as a vapor instead of a liquid so it's like 99% uh, completely burnt instead of like car fuel where some of it always comes out the tailpipe on burn. A little game you have to play getting them started a little bit and I'm just not used to it yet but you kind of sort of crack the throttle just barely open and I'm in the control valve. Excuse me while I shake a little bit here with the camera. There's a little more fuel I hear trying to fire off. A little more. Once you do this a few times, you'll know exactly where to do it. And there we go. I'm not just idling there because that's where I have the throttle set. Because this valve is now the throttle. And all I had done is I ran up to the hardware store. I bought the cheapest propane torch they had. I just came up to where the holes are drilled in it, where it sucks the, where it vacuums in the fresh air. I just cut it off below that. I shoved this 3 8 hose on it. And since I was hooking up to the carb at quarter inch, I spent the five bucks and bought an adapter there and a coupling to put two fittings together. Um, and the, uh, and that's it. Um, this mower just happens to have an electric start, so uh, the uh, it's not all this pulling and stuff. It just basically just crack the fuel open here, and I just hit the starter and crank it over and fire it up. But uh, yeah, the, uh, 
It's fast. I probably did this whole conversion, cut everything down, went to the store and the whole deal probably in an hour. Um, and uh, yeah, no more prime in the carb or anything. And the best part is, is you don't ever have fuel that goes bad. Your propane will sit in that tank for a hundred years and still be perfect. And then if you like to mow your lawn, if it's deep grass and whatnot, and your lawnmower likes to ping and stuff, uh, propane runs in, in these bottles at about 114 octane. So uh, it's got tons of the energy in it that way. And uh, it'll really try to mow through the deep stuff. It makes the lawnmower really, really run well. And you can do this to your rider and stuff too. The trick is, is uh, it's a lot easier. In fact, I think it's just more about mandatory that it's got a governor on it instead of a, a hand throttle. And uh, if you had a riding lawnmower, it would have a manual throttle. But technically, that's on the governor of the motor, so it would work as well. But, uh, but yeah, just a little something I did here in the, just, the, uh, just our little unit here we used to mow the lawn. And uh, all those uh, reasons that we did that are, are good reasons for... Uh, the uh, reason for doing a turbo uh, kits with the uh, propane that will hook up to them or just run propane on its own. Like for instance, uh, fuel right now is like 335 today for unleaded for the cheap stuff at AMP on. And uh, I think I paid, I refilled that bottle myself. So I'm not even sure how much those are, a quart or something. So let's just say that's a quarter of a gallon and maybe it's less than that. But, uh, but that was unleaded. And you ran through that. Let's just say it's a quarter of a gallon. It would be, uh, um, I can't even do the math. What is that, about 80 cents or something? And then uh, when I bought fuel propane and screwed that on there, it just worked out to be like 45 cents. Doesn't seem like a lot when you're mowing your lawn, but when you fill a 10 gallon propane tank up on your uh, geo and uh, cut the price of fuel by a big chunk, it's a, it's a pretty big deal. But that's just a quick something you can do if you want. It's fun, easy. And uh, I think I used a razor blade to cut the vinyl tube and uh, some zip ties and a hacksaw. And that was it.